I want to show you just how easy it is to get the first 10 questions done in a GCSE foundation maths paper. This is the Edexcel past paper from 2023. Let's go through. Write 38% as a decimal. 38% is 38 out of 100. If I divide 38 by 100 and move in the decimal place two places back, it's going to be before the 3, 0 0.38. What fraction of the shape is shaded? I've got three parts that are shaded. And altogether, there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three tenths. I can't simplify it, I leave it like that. Here is a list of numbers. From the list, write down the smallest number. Well, those start with a two, that's a one, that's going to be the smallest number. Work out negative nine plus five. So negative nine, negative eight, negative seven, negative six, negative five, negative four. Solve p take away two is equal to three. Right now, I'm taking away 2 from the P, so I need to add 2 to both sides. So P is equal to 5. Explain why one of these labels are wrong. So that one is correct. It's a circumference. It's the perimeter around the edge of the circle. That is the center. That one is incorrect. The diameter should be labeled as the radius. The diameter goes from one edge of the circle to the other edge through the center. The radius just goes halfway. Diameter should be labeled as the radius. Number seven, write down three different factors of 20. Well, one and 20 go in, and it's an even number, so two as well. Number eight, work out the size of that angle. This is angles around a point, which add up to 360. 360, take away 50. 36, take away five is 31, 310. A student says that the angle of 50 degrees is an obtuse. Angles less than 90 are acute, just like you. Number nine, write down the coordinates of point B along the corridor of the stairs, five, two. Plot the point with coordinates four, negative two, four, negative two. Write down the coordinates of the midpoint of AB. I think I'd probably use a ruler, but I think it's going to be over there. One, three. Draw the line with equation y equals negative four. So we're looking for when y is always negative four. So I go down from y to negative four. If I draw a straight line going through all of those points, all of those coordinates would have y being negative 4. This one would be 0, negative 4. That one would be 1, negative 4, 2, negative 4, and so on. Final question. Max sees this special offer in a shop. Max wants to buy six large plates, six small plates using this offer. He's buying six large at two pounds and get one small plate for half the normal price. The normal price of a small plate is 80p, so six small at 40p. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 40 is 240. That's in pence, so £2.40. Add those together, he's spending £14.40. He has £15. Does he have enough money? Yes. He has 60p extra.